Uh, uh. Grim, start us off. Fuck, can, can Javi go first? Javi, start us off. Alright, might as well. <clears throat> can you feel life moving through your mind? Oh, looks like it came back for more, yeah. Can you feel time flipping down your spine? Oh, you try and try to ignore, oh, but you can hardly swallow your fears and pain. When you can't help but follow, it puts you right back where you came. And learn, you may never find your way. Yeah. Um, there you go. Up, Samara. Damn it! I'm not sure I thought I wasn't going to be the fucking one. I didn't want to go after Bobby. All right. All right. <laughs> I, I was I was worried because when I when I say I, I put a lot into it, so I I maybe having me go first was not the best idea. All I know is that now I'm, like, super anxious. All right, go for it. <laughs> okay, Krem, go for it. Save me. I know, I know I've let you down. I've been a fool to myself. I thought that I could live for no one else. But now, through all the hurt and pain, it's time for me to respect the ones you love mean more than anything. So with sadness in my heart, I feel the best thing I could do is end it all and leave forever. What's done is done, it feels so bad. What once was happy now is sad. I'll never love again, my world is ending. I wish that I could turn back time, for now the guilt is all mine. Can't live without the trust from those you love. I know we can't forget the past. You can't forget love and pride. Because of that, it's killing me inside. Mm. Lovely. Hot damn. That was good, man. What we got next? We got either Jesus or Samara. Samara. You're next. Shit. I damn knew it. I'll be okay. <laughs> Shut up, yeah. you dude. <clears throat> okay, you, you cannot it. judge me. I, I have phlegm in my throat, so I don't know if I can hit this note. So, I barely recovered from being sick. <clears throat> Jesus, I'm so anxious. Okay, okay. no, okay. sir, I don't want to be the blank, not anymore. It's your turn. So, take the scene, settling the final score, and what? I can't do it. Uh, what do we want to hurt so much? I got this time. You have made it harder just to go on. And why all the possibilities? Well, I was wrong. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Why? Oh, oh, that's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa, oh, oh, I drowned out all my sense with the sounds of it, uh, eh, the sound of it's the rain. And that's what you get when you let your heart win.
Whoa. Oh. Oh. I can't sing. Done. Never doing it again. Don't ever ask me again. Me. Can you lullaby me to sleep every really day? Good. I can't sing. I told you. We have Jesus. Oh no. Yes. Okay. I had to suffer. Um, it's your turn. No. Damn it. Mm. Fucking overtime. <sighs> um. Damn, I don't like to say. Okay. Um. You joined the call. It's on you. I did. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't have to show up, but now you, you could have deliberately did. set this one up. Oh yeah. Okay. Bye. I'm kidding. Um. <laughs> no, I said you could have. It's too late, motherfucker. You're stuck. Day. I'm sorry. Only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love <laughs> with you. Um, I, I don't know much of the lyrics now. Um, it's fine. That's enough. Let's That's go enough. with that. Yeah. God, I feel kind of awkward now because why? That was actually really good. Heavy. She didn't sing and I sang, so go. What do you mean heavy? That's because he's doing rap. Feels like I'm losing my mind, I need help. Feels like I'm draining my man, I need help. Send me a potion and bring me some wealth. How you gonna kill me, I end it myself. Tip. Towing out the motherfucking house slow. Get inside my whip and hear the ruckus out the window. Tattoos upon my skin. That's that's the shit that I know. Spit that shadow at that motherfucking suicide flow. Screaming, I don't wanna die since I've been alive. I've been hollowed to the side. What is mine? What is my life? What is my time? When am I gonna ride? Feels like I'm losing my mind. Hello, everyone, to the Podwash Power Cast. Tonight, we are talking about music, in case you couldn't tell from the intro. By the way, to answer your question, how much I you did do good. We're all actually going to talk about our own genres or albums and all that stuff. Uh, we didn't necessarily sing a song that is reminiscent to what we're going to talk about, I did. but I did. I'm covering rap, because I like rap and I got a... I got more to talk about that than I do of rock. Avi, what are you doing? I'm doing rock because I got more to talk about that than other stuff. Wonderful. Krem, co-host? Uh, I will be covering the fact that I don't necessarily like using a genre to classify my music, and I will be discussing a particular album that exemplifies this. Perfection, Samara. I'll be talking about pop punk slash punk. Or just punk in general, I guess. And Jesus, what are you talking I'll about? be judging all your playlists. No. Um, You've got to talk about something, too. I have probably, I don't know, just normal pop music. So? Pop. So? Okay, so. <clears throat> uh, the song that I sang was They Think I'm Joking by Warlord Colossus. Krem, what was yours? I sang Come Sus or Todd, which means Come Sweet Death. From Evangelion. Perfect. That's this. Is... Um, I sing "Can't Help Falling in Love." I think from Elvis. I don't know. I don't. I want to say it's Elvis. Sing it. I know there's multiple covers of it, but the song is still very well known, and I love it. You could just say "Made Famous by Elvis, Elvis Presley." Yeah, made yes. Famous yeah. by Elvis Presley. Yeah, Made Famous by Elvis Presley. Yeah. It's not his song, but I know, yeah. Uh, I sang Live and Learn by Crush 40. It's especially featured uh, in the Sonic franchise. Yep, and Samara. I sang um, uh, That's What You Get by Paramore. So, yeah. Uh, I love this group. We all got to sing. We're all not going to make fun of each other's shitty-ass singing voices. Thank you, because I just finished being sick, so... I can kind of sing, but I can't Honestly, sing. For being so. sick, it was actually pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Usually, I can hit the notes pretty well. The funny thing is that I don't even sing pop punk. Most of the time, if I sing, it's country or very pop. So, like, for instance, my voice is more, um, like, I can sing Dolly Parton, which is very, very, very hard to do. But I 
don't trust my voice today, and if I did, I would crack, and I'm not going to, like, listen to my voice crack, but I already cracked, so, you know. I'll lie and say you did good, too. Thank you. Yeah. You're very kind. Can you sing to me this sleep He, he said day? too, which means he's implying he lied about how I did. Yeah, I know. It's more referencing uh, Javi uh, saying you did good. Fucking up. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, where's the... So, Let's vote. I did Thanks, man. I was, going, I was going through my head the past week on how exactly I'm going to structure this, and I think I figured out, instead of trying to get opinions on what make what you think makes music good, although you can definitely give that during your segments, I'm thinking more on just asking you guys what genre of music you tend to like and why you tend to like it, as well as what songs you like and why you like those. And also some guys in general. You kind of skip the whole what makes it good part, but I do want to start this stream off by saying the file for uh, the video on the last episode, which was uh, TV shows, was corrupted. And it was all, all kinds of fucky wucky trying to watch it. And I couldn't, I ended up not being able to upload it on YouTube. So we're actually an episode behind. Uh, um, I will it. say, something I've noticed, why don't you leave the VODs up on your Twitch channel? I don't know how to do that. I'll be figuring that out eventually. Because I definitely have, like, I because I would have, like, gone to check some of those VODs, but they don't exist. Exactly. Let's keep my uh, existence as private as possible. That way I don't get demonetized for saying the word fuck. It His name is... <laughs> That'll happen on YouTube, but not here. Okay, so my name is Walter Hope Worldwide. I live. <laughs> His name is Scar Guinea. He's keeping me hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Should not say that. God, I made gun sound with my mouth, and Discord didn't pick it up. But you guys over out at home did. So good on you. Today, I want to ask Krem, starting with you, Mr. Kringloy. Oh, Ew. You can choose an album in place of genre, but what what general genre or theme of music do you tend to like? To, to put it simply, I have trouble classifying a single genre, so I just say I like the music that I like. Um, because I like music from a lot of genres, and it more depends on the song than a given artist or a given genre. That's um, well spoken. You don't ever have uh, anything that stands above the rest, or at least in general terms. Yeah, in general terms. Like, I tend to enjoy most rock as it is the most palatable thing for me. But there is usually at least one song in any given genre that I will enjoy. Even my least favorite genre has some bangers in it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Javi, what do you say? Uh, honestly, I have to kind of agree, because with music, it's like it, it can very much depend on like the mood, and because of that, I listen to a variety of music. I've, honestly, over the course of my entire life, I've done that. And I can't really narrow it down. Uh, but if I, if I had to, if I absolutely had to pick a genre, I'd be going with rock, which is what I'm going to be covering. Uh, but I, 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 to mention what you said earlier, I don't think that any particular genre is better than another. I think that's just what I prefer. Uh, as music is one of those things that's kind of just very subjective. Yes, it is. So, yeah. Samara, what do you say? Um, I feel like uh, growing up, if anything, like music can be anything or everything. Like, you can like any genre or no genre and it's just always interesting though whenever you do meet like a certain group of people and like the least likely person that you'll expect to listen to like a certain soundtrack so for instance like i love uh metal but looking at me in real life you would be like i'm sorry what and i'd be like yeah no i went to a slipknot concert like i could kind of i see went that. yeah i could see that well yeah but my appearance does not give it away let's just say that 
it, if anything, it, it I, mean, I do sure, not look if like you that. don't dress like a metalhead. But, like, I, looking at the pictures I have seen of you, I can see it. Fair enough. But I think it's always interesting to, like... I haven't. You've I thought everyone's seen pictures. Under the chat. I know. I don't remember. During the stream. I don't remember such an event. It yeah, might have actually not oh. been during the stream, but the point is they, oh. they have been sent. Yes. I might, might look for them, I don't care. Anyway. Oh, well. I'll fetch them real quick. <laughs> or at least the, point, the point is, is that I think it's interesting. It's like, depending, like, you can listen to anything and everything. and uh, it, It's just always interesting to learn what, you know, different people's um, taste Perfect. in music is. And, you know, it's very, I just enjoy that, so. What do you say? I'm very fluent. I I like all music, I guess. Um, except country that can go to hell. I'm kidding. Um, I just don't like wow. most of it. Okay, here's I, the thing though. Country is my uh, least favorite genre. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't listen much to it. It's like the least listen uh, that I you know less genre I listen to. But everything else, I'm okay with. I just gotta give a yeah. shout out to Dark Country, though. Dark mm -hmm. Country right there. And for me, I kind of also am gonna say pretty much the same what Javi and Clem said. Pretty much, like, everything I listen to, but the things I tend to listen to most would be rock and rap. I also do like techno. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, Would you say the Double Man Crybaby soundtrack is techno? <laughs> no. I, don't I don't know, actually. Uh, maybe? They're gonna need to reach. Man Crybaby soundtrack. They're gonna need to reach deep, deep, deep inside you to What's know that answer. Is. is there any like genres you tend to not like? I know country. Is there anything else? Country. Just country? Um. Other things I am, I have varying levels of partialness, but the one that is always forefront in my mind as not liking it is country. Like I said, there's some ba absolute bangers in the category, but most of the time, not a country guy. Mm, but if you put fucking, um, I'm blanking on the name of the song, but almost heaven. West uh, Virginia. country roads. Country roads. If you put country roads on, I will belt it out like everyone else will. Hell yeah. Because that is good. Indeed, indeed. How about you? How um, you guys I, I, can I quickly uh, bring I think up you already asked an me. obscure genre, though? What's up? I, I say obscure. Um, there, there is a genre that has been coming to the forefront more and more lately, especially on YouTube. But, for example, is not recognized on most places like Spotify, so it's very hard to find. That being funk. Mm. It's a form of techno. So I really enjoy it, but, yeah, it is, as, a, as its own, like, subgenre, not very easy to find on, like, official music sites. Yep. Dr. Livesey, my friends, he is making things popular. Alright. I liked Ooh. it before that. <laughs> what about chat rap? Also, you are hard to hear. Oh, well, fine. I'll turn me up. I was getting scared that I was overpowering everyone, and so I turned myself down. How's this sound? Fuck it off. Be nice. Be okay. nice to your one <laughs> viewer. My one viewer. Oh, look, Wizard. look, I know what a drug tag is. Wizard Wisconsin. Hi, Javi. I'm tired. <laughs> Now, so, here's the thing. Is he overpowering us now? Uh, yeah. Am I overpowering everyone else? that was else? an issue I saw in the, in the YouTube was that he was, like, four times louder than the rest of us. And that is exactly why I tried to be not so loud this time. No, I'm not... Okay, we'll stick, let's stick with that. Good. I let's... can't wait for the cheese wizard to be lying to you. Wizard with skins. He's wizard. He's wizard. <laughs> he is, if you remember Pantheon Playhouse, he's the one who made Weezard. Weezard. Oh my god, he's the one who made Weezard. 
Yes. I love your I love your work. I was like Tim Tim Squider earlier. Okay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so <There you> <laughs> um Javi, is there any like genre you don't really tend to like? Interestingly enough, I'm not the biggest fan of rap. There's just not a lot that I, I enjoy. There's certain ones it's not that I don't it's not that I hate it. I think it's just the more it's the artists that I'm not a fan of. Like, cause there's a lot of, like, mm. there's a lot of people that are just doing like mumble rap kind of shit, and I, that's right, I'm so, not a fan of so that. So name an artist you do like then. I can't think of one. That's the thing. Okay, what is your thoughts on Eminem? Eminem's pretty good. Yeah. There you go. Boom. There you go. Good enough. Even the things you don't like, you can still find something you like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another rapper I would like to. You know, point out is Tupac. Oh yeah, he's a legend. So, anything else you want to add on that one, Javi, or nah? Not that I could think of. Alrighty. I, I'm typically pretty open when it comes to music. Is there any no. genre you tend to not really like that much, or not as much as other things? You know, I don't like pop punk. As much as I used to, and I'll and I'll say why. Uh, I think it's a combination of just everything. I, I mean, how, let me let me not pop punk. Let me let me rephrase that. Current about. pop is something I don't enjoy because it's everything that sounds the same to me, at least. Like, for instance, like things that you hear on the radio nowadays. Everything sounds the same to me. I I don't hear any difference between one singer and the next. And I don't know. I like music where it's like uh, there's multiple different like you know, sounds and things that are people are trying whereas there's artists now who are just plain lazy and they're just like, "Oh, auto-tune and I'm done." Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I don't know. I just don't like it. But that's just me. Yep. <laughs> Anything else, or is that is that it? Well, I like everything. I like a lot of different kinds of songs. I've never not liked anything, I, I guess I could say. It's okay. just anything that sounds too similar to me is, like, annoying. I think that's about it. Well, Mr. Jeeves, man, are there anything... That you've generally tended to not like that much when it comes to um, genres and stuff. Okay, don't hate me. Uh, I don't listen to metal or. Yeah, I don't like metal because I'm really sensitive with loud noises and it freaks me out. Yeah, hey, I wonder, considering you told me that you were. You told us you were traumatized by uh, Devilman Crybaby, so I figured yeah. metal would not be up that's, your alley. That's electronic music, actually. I did look it up. Mm -hmm. It is not metal. It is electronic. No, but I meant it's in the same thing of like, like darker theme. No, oh. it, it's more the loud noises that Jeebus is more. Yeah. Oh. It, I think he's trying to say he doesn't like screamo. No. Oh, screamo is different. I don't than like metal. Screamo, either. That's yeah, not screamo metal. is not metal. I will say. Oh, yeah, those are different oh, I can see, I can see not liking metal for the same purpose. So, okay, I will actually rephrase myself. I don't like a lot of Screamo. I like metal, but there is a difference between Screamo and metal, and not a lot of people know that. Mm. Yeah, it kind of, if I hear someone shouting, I, I get scared and, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's a fair yeah. point. I also don't like Screamo. But I also uh, am not a huge... I'm going to get some flack for this one. I'm not a huge fan of Christmas music all that much. <gasps> okay, you no, bastard. I can stand by that. Okay, uh, yeah. here's the thing, though. Anyone who works in retail will 100% stand by you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I also find it very funny that the like one exception to what's more tolerable, ironically, is the Christian, like the overly like, Christian-based Christmas music, tends to be better. Even then, for me, it's uh, I still don't like it. The only oh, I didn't say it was good. I just said it was better. There's a distinct difference the, between the only Christmas being bad song being... that I'll actually really, really love is Metallica's version of Carol of the Bells. Carol of the Bells is just a really awesome Christmas song in general, though. It indeed is, and Metallica just. Uh, hmm. Well, 
But yeah, I think I think mo- I think plenty of people would agree with you on Christmas music. I hope so. Can't Keep confirm. I'm freezing. Considering that they they play it as early as fucking October. Yeah. They it have doesn't... invaded the sanctity of my spooky month. Right. Halo's unfreezing. <laughs> Mariah Carey's un- uh, thawing out. Yeah, yeah. She's no, coming. Wait, no, wrong name. no, the only the only other uh, situation in which I find Christmas music exemplary is uh, when you mix it with the unenlightened masses. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna post the the uh, song in Discord. I'm gonna go check that out later. So, what specific songs do you guys not like? Uh, co-host? Pretty much everything oh, by early Justin Bieber. Bieber. Oh my god, Hobby's the co-host <laughs> now. Yeah, uh, I, I, I see how it no is. Hesitation. Trying to overthrow me. If people Krem. don't agree with me, I don't give a shit. You've been, you've been replaced, Krem. Hobby is now the co-host. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I reclaim my throne. Hobby, you are dead. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just gonna okay. Um, specific songs. Now, here's the issue. There's a lot of them. Yeah. So I can't. I, I actually have mm-hmm. problems naming a specific song that I don't like because it's a lot of them. You can only get one. I can't even think of my least favorite song though. That's the thing. You don't have to be your least favorite. Just one that you don't like. Oh fuck! I. <laughs> that's extremely hard though. <laughs> Look at me dealing some mental damage to Krem here, guys. <laughs> I already got mine another way. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'll be it at the expense of Krem, and I'm sorry about that, but you know. Oh, that was hilarious. I'm just gonna have to say, I can't pick one because it's a matter of they're so not in my mind, I can't even think of them. That's how I got a I got a pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, for that song. Yep. Always oh, stuck in my head. All right. What about what about you, sis? Oh, um, baby shark. Doo, 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 doo. That's like the worst song you can ever sh- sing to me. I'm going to shoot myself. Yeah. Now, now I know what to sing to you when you sleep. No, don't even. <laughs> I will not sleep. <laughs> that's, the yeah, that's the point. That's the point, son. Okay. <laughs> You never sleep you, again. What about you, Samara? Okay, I hate one song in particular, and it, like, puts my, like, teeth on edge, and I don't understand why people like it. And it's the, it, it's like a TikTok song now. So, every, and the re, okay, let me rephrase it. I used to really like the song, but then it became a TikTok song, and now I can't stand it when I hear it. And that is, um... Uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 give me a second. Um, uh, nope. the, the enemy song by, on, um, by Imagine Dragons. Oh, I used to really misery. like that song. It's, li- it's literally just called enemy. enemy. Yeah, enemy. It's, it's enemy by Imagine Dragons. And I really? love Imagine Dragons. Okay, let me, let me explain why. I, I mean, love that song. Yeah. But hearing everyone play it. And yeah. then every store I go into, that's like, like I I went into uh, Spencer's the other day with one of my friends, and we were going and just like walking back and forth through the mall, you know, like the old people used to do, and um, we're just like walking around, and like we made a joke about how many times we would hear Imagine Dragons going off in the speakers at Hot Topic and like all these other stores, and every fucking time it was an Imagine Dragon song, it was always Enemy. And they're like, yeah, it's just because it's really popular on TikTok or something nowadays. I'm like, bro, they used to be popular before TikTok. Or at least I thought they were popular before TikTok. I don't know. But Mm. it's like, I don't know, when you hear a song over and over and over and over and over. Retail stores just playing the same shit over and over again. Exactly. Christmas songs lost all their value to me. It gets grating. Hey, Samara? Hmm. Oh, the misery. I will murder you. Everybody wants don't to even be my th- enemy. Say Everyone Bones. Uh, one of their newer enemy. songs, uh, Bones, is very yeah, good as well. Oh, I haven't heard that one yet. It's very good. I See, here's it. the thing. I love Imagine Dragons. I will never not like Imagine Dragons. It's just that I can't 
listen to that one song anymore because I've heard it a million and twenty times. Yeah. Uh, one I know you would probably like, Nick, uh, would be I think it's called Lonely. <laughs> Lonely no, is you. a good song. It's, it's a very good song. Lonely. Like that's some kind of. I give you permission. It talks about like depression that's and shit. Akon. That's Akon, buddy. So long. I'm assuming you heard him. Not no, that that's Akon. Stop that. <laughs> That's, that's complete, complete wrong song, Jeebus. Okay. Yeah, no. I'm so lonely. I can get a little lonely. Okay. Uh, Jesus, is there one song that you just don't like? Oh, um, whenever you sing, um, no, um. God. Uh, Holy shit! shit. Okay, your oh, time has up. gone up to 10. Wow! <laughs> I... You know what? You I'm just gonna be. Ten minutes aside with I'm gonna be savage? singing. I'm though. sorry. Oh my god, <laughs> Jeebus, that was uh, unprovoked murder. I'm sorry. Oh, no, well, was, while he's being no, murdered in the background, no, I've got it two was, songs that I posted to the chat. It was very provoked from what I told him earlier. The whole woman's <laughs> touch thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, so for that's context, his retribution. Uh, Literally, I have no anger inside me right now. I oh my god. For what? context to everyone Jesus, out there. What do you like think before you speak? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> so, he has no filter. It's like Tony. Oh my god. So like for, a, has that not been apparent up until now that he doesn't have a brain cell to process things before he speaks? <laughs> no, oh my god. He, have, he barely has a brain cell to process things. You think he has a brain cell to tell him not to like say the first thing that pops in his head? Because those are two very separate brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> those, those would be two very separate brain cells, and the problem is he's only got one. So, and that one has a very bad alcoholism problem. I, no, I got I, nothing. So I want to give uh, everyone context about this one. Earlier, when we were it's, it's, getting ready for the the the, power, the podcast, I was not ready to hear that. Holy shit! Um, what happened again? We were talking about like Jesus and the touch of a woman. I told him he's yeah, never felt like the that. touch of a woman, and then I told him that the only touch of a woman he's ever felt is his mom slapping him from being an incel, <laughs> and he creams his pants by touching his body pillow. God damn it! His body <laughs> pillow of Asuna Yuki from Sword Art Online. That was the payback. I was. Uh, I was not. I think the more messed up part. Is that he genuinely didn't intend it? I don't think he intended it as pain. No, I, I didn't even think it, it would be. Her, it was hurtful. <laughs> you just did not process what it might be, how what it might do to him. Yeah, no. I'm just sociopath, ladies and gentlemen. Literally, I thought, why are you guys mad? <laughs> <laughs> just like, guys, what's, what's the problem? I just said a thing. I just so... said something. What was the outcome? <laughs> oh man. The outcome you is do. I'm getting ten minutes alone with you in a room, a locked room, and I'm borrowing my friend Herman's knuckles. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. I think I don't like a lot of Lady Gaga songs because my brother used to play it a lot of times. And it's You're literally of... like trying to quote it slash sing a bunch of them earlier. Yeah, because they're embedded in my brain now. Oh well, that makes sense. Ooh, rah, 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 rah. Oh, ma, 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 ooh, la, 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 la. Uh, you, 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 you already now got the I answer. I want to shoot you. I don't care. Yeah, I, I'm I getting, I got the answer. I want to shoot Jesus because he's the one who brought it up. <laughs> well, we're going to get the three How about this? I'm going to give you a room. gun with my name on it. You take that into your room for your 10 minutes and make sure you fire it at least once at him. I'm just going to beat him with it like a club. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna sound like Make sure a I hear it. Sure <laughs> oh, you will. It. You will. You will. Yeah, I, I guess. Is this song, I guess. The one with Beyonce. And, <laughs> the one uh, song I absolutely the Adi, Adi hate. Adi Hanzo one. God, I, I have several. For one, Javi nailed this with uh, any early song by Justin Bieber. Totally. Like, they're just not good. Why does it have to be early? Why can't it just be all of them? Oh, never, his later, his never. later songs are not bad. He's actually developed at least some <laughs> he, bit of scale no, later this on. He actually stopped using auto tune. Oh, yeah. Wow. I didn't think Did it was possible. Yummy, yummy. That's not. That's not anything. <laughs> that is him. No, it's no. not. Jeez. <laughs> that is not him at all. This is gonna be guessing <laughs> I'm songs. I'm so done. 
I'm, I'm so I'm done. Sorry, how, how we were I'm just talking sorry. about how he doesn't process anything? Yeah. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm tired. So, of course you're tired. You don't <laughs> sleep. Like, like to be put down. <laughs> he's a he's a subby little masochist. No, no, a... Notice my choice of words. I <laughs> know. I don't. I was gonna say. So. I like guess Krem, I got a not, few for Krem, like. He does not need to be reasons. neutralized. Uh, some songs I can't stand. There is just most country songs now. It sounds like white noise yeah. to me. And if I do recognize it, it's either a song I like or a song I want to end immediately. I would uh, like to hear the name of a country song you want to end. You guys are going to hate me. Um, no, we won't. I'm trying to remember the name. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Band here, Ooh, no, I will hate you. I, I, I will hate you. I Get away from me. I absolutely love that song, but I simply cannot listen to it anymore. And it's not I love nothing that to do song. with it. Like I said, I love oh, that Samara's song. Samara's the only person here that actually likes country. Hold no, on. I like listen country. to I you guys. Up. I love that song, but I just can't listen to it anymore. Memories. Memories. Ah. Memories. You so, know, it's yeah. really fun that I had a song that I was listening to that I enjoyed a lot, but now I don't want to go back and listen to it because it was what I was listening to at the time that I got sent to the mental hospital. Woo! Alexander and it was Hamilton. it was a song that did not help my mindset at the time either. Well... Now that we've done that, let's start talking about the subject matter we've chosen. Mr. Co-host, what did you choose? I forgot. I chose uh, specifically talking about things that don't necessarily fit into any given genre. Um, with my main focus being on that of Sturgill Simpson's album, Sound and Fury. But I would like to do a short little segment talking about something else right beforehand uh, that relates to the two things I posted, which are, is taking existing songs and then modifying them. I'm not talking remixes. I'm talking making a new song using an old song. We're just going to remix which is it. Just fascinating. Uh, and the things I posted are great examples. So I think I want to give my favorite example of someone doing this. Are you familiar with the band Seether? I, I think so. So, one of my favorite songs for them is um, Words as Weapons. But when I was listening to them at one point, I noticed that they'd actually made their own version of uh, Careless Whispers. It's like a rock version of Careless Whispers. And it isn't. Oh, I'm not talking Why? like Why? No, they, they, but, uh, it sounds like it's on the song. They kept the pacing and the tune, but with rock, but it's sounds like it's on its own song at the same time. And it's in the same vein as like, uh, Marilyn Manson singing Sweet Dreams. God. Well, anyways, Sweet I will begin talking about, um, like parodies. Found... Uh, no, I don't think he's meaning parodies. Okay, if you want, if if anyone in chat wants to hear a good example of what I am referring to, it is it is best described if you go to the channel Jerry Terry on YouTube, because a yeah. lot of their stuff uh, is a great example of this. Um, one that is fairly recognizable but still different would be the boys are back in town to kill you. <laughs> okay. And uh, the sequel, kiss me, and then in parentheses, kill me. Kiss me harder. <laughs> um, I, I recommend that uh, when we finish the podcast that my fellow uh, guests and hosts observe these songs. But uh, I will get to the meat of the matter, Sturgill Simpson, and his album that defies all identification via genre. Now... He is normally a country musician, and as I stated, I do not like country. However, this album is among one of my favorites of all time. 
Um, it blends so many different things that I can't off of the top of my head name them all. But it is like a country western samurai <sighs> experience that is just so great and y'all. So are you talking samurai right. like the uh, ancient Japanese warrior or the band from Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven? Well, in cyberpunk in yes. general. Honestly, kind of both, because it has some, like, punk anti-establishment theming to it as well. Yeah, Which Tamara, yo. For... Nice. Oh, no, I was talking to my cat. Oh, okay. Oh. Her, her cat. Punt it. Continue. So, for the, rec for the record of chat, we just, while we were discussing what songs we wanted to sing before this, I actually originally was going to sing one of the songs. However, the lyrics by themselves sound a lot more like a country song, so I did not want to sing it because of that. But when you add the music in, it seems to defy a genre at all. To the point of, if you go to YouTube and look at the comments, almost every single comment you see will talk about how this he's either just... inventing a new genre or mixing every single genre that he can find. Wonderful. Sturgill Simpson, everyone. Sturgill Simpson. Sturgill fucking Simpson. He also managed to write the most painfully country song I have ever heard. So painfully country that it loops back around to being good because it's funny. And Nick has heard this song, although it, it, it affected him on a different level, and I didn't intend for it to do that. Right. What song? The Ooh. Dead Don't Die, which was fe featured in a movie of the same name. Oh. I've never heard of that. It's a beautiful It, it is a zombie movie that has Bill Murray and um, Adam Driver. Zombie. Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, would you like to talk about your genre just a little bit? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been, like, very much into a lot of, like, the rock genre for most of my life. Uh, so much so to the point that I think that, I think I want, I want to say I listened to that particular genre more than any other that I can possibly think of. Uh, and I think it also doesn't hurt that, I think, I'm trying to remember, the very first concert I ever went to, I want to say, was for Fallout Boy as well. Some legends are told. Some turn they actually the say that dust one. To gold. How yeah. can okay, Fallout Boy do something? I just love how long their something titles are. Hey, what? You be remember me. That one's just called Centuries. Yeah. Boy, Centuries. I mean, like, Boy. some of them. Because I'm assuming that you've seen the memes. No. Wizard Wisconsin, please type out the name of that one song. That had a super long name. I think you know which one I'm talking about. My songs know what you did in the dark. Nope. Why'd you have to ruin it? Nope. Stop, There's another one. There's another one that is like so long and so utterly specific to a sp certain event that happened. I can't remember it. It is l so specific. It's like trying to. It's like it's like a movie trying to exposition by doing everything except looking straight at the camera and saying, this is for your knowledge. That is, is how specific I, like, I don't know. I like to think it's um, it's like uh, Japanese isekai manga titles. Hmm. On that same vein, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, while we're getting, while waiting on that, also other bands I've enjoyed, uh, stuff like Imagine Dragons, uh, a lot of Crush 40, and now that I think about it, I think the, what got me into rock was Crush 40. Uh, just Crush for the simple fact, that, like, yeah, oh, I mean, to be I, fair, I, 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 I think I know this. I think I know the song. Oh god, I uh, forgot be... about this one because it's really funny. Oh god, uh, but yeah. So to be fair, like, I, I, a lot of the like Sonic franchise kind of games is what I grew up playing. So it kind of makes sense that like that the rock kind of genre was with like, especially like the like the later Sonic games because they featured a lot more of it in uh, in those particular games because it's like. You're going fast. It's meant to be about very like. It feels very it's a speedrunners. It's like a speedrunner's wet dream, basically. The whole p premise of those Sonic games is to feel like you're moving fast, and I think the the rock genre helps with that quite a bit. 
Hell yeah, it does. One of my favorite bands from rock is Nothing More. Uh, they they are actually Alabama. based in Texas, coming out of San Antonio. Oh, actually? Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, real quick. I think I found the title you were referring to. What's that? Our lawyer made us change the name of the song so we wouldn't get sued. Oh, yeah. That is one of them. There's more. Well, I know that uh, Panic at the Disco has got some really long ones, too. Yeah. yeah uh, Wizard of Wisconsin. I write sins, not tragedies. There's a good reason these tables are numbered, honey. You just haven't thought of it yet. That is the name of one of their songs. And that's for who? That's uh, Panic at the Disco. Ah, oh, damn. The yeah, they're known for writing like ridiculously long songs. A band by the name of Say Anything has put out I will never write an obligatory song about being on the road and missing someone. This was the, that was it. I think that was it. <laughs> That's why I say anything. Uh, there you go. Well, has anyone wanted to like to add anything more on the rock subject? So, I, I will. Go ahead. Go. If it's cool. Yeah, I don't mind. It's a little warm in um, here, but go ahead. Oh, Lord. Um, so, growing up as a kid, um, I was raised on rock, and I, I mean, like, my parents were, how do I explain it? I grew up with a dad who literally was in a Pink Floyd cover band, so, like, I was introduced to, like, Deep Purple, uh, Scorpion, mm. very older rock, like, Bands and like the very first concert I ever, one of the very first concerts I ever went to, I saw Rush when I was like ten, so or like I think it was ten or eleven. So like I grew up with that genre. So it, it I don't know, it, it's so weird though, but because like now when you think about it, like my mom and I were having. I a am conversation eating some. I'm sorry if you hear anything how, like, weird. Rock is seen as kind of like this weird aesthetic where it's both modern and kind of classic and ancient in a way and she even said like all the music that i grew up with is now considered classic rock yeah. and she's like i don't yeah. know how to feel about that and then i was like well i'll never get to that point point." and then the other day um and this is the reason why i picked a paramore song i can actually sing paramore it's just i'm sick um but the album the very first album i ever bought with my own money when i was a kid um after babysitting so many screaming children i bought um mm. the crush album from paramore that album just turned 15 wow oh my god so yeah like think about that like so now That's like sick. i'm thinking about it it's like one day you know god forbid if i have children they'll be like you know you like that classic punk stuff nobody listens to that anymore and it's like I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. Yeah, or like the day shit you respect your elders, or I will slap you across the face so hard you'll go to the moon. <laughs> you, you well, just, yeah, you're like, just gonna talk I'm gonna introduce toad. you to my friend. We call him the child annihilator. Oh my god! But the, the point is, is, like, there's gonna is come. Such bullshit. Hello. But child. there's gonna come a day where you're just gonna be like, wow, like all the music that I listened to that I liked is like considered you know, ancient history, so to speak, now, you, you know? Okay, on a real level, how do you think I felt when I was, like, the only kid in middle school that liked jazz and Frank Sinatra? Fuck. <laughs> not, I mean, not jazz. I didn't like Frank Sinatra. Disco, There's nothing wrong. Disco and Frank Sinatra. It was specifically I'm the only disco person, that like, I got within my it. area, at least that I'm certain of, that likes Big Band. Big Dude, Band, big band is Fair. great. It's great, but, like, I'm, like, okay. the only person here that's heard of it. Yes, well, I'm the I only have person make, like, I have to make a sad confession that likes for everyone. swing. Mm -hmm. I have to make a sad confession to everyone that I think you will all uh you will all be saddened over. Mhm. Mm I have yet to be actually able to go to a concert at all or a show Same. or anything oh. like that. Never been Same. to a concert? I have not. I have never been. Me and Javier are taking you to one. 
There were times, there have really been several times where I almost did. Like, like I said before, I almost went to a Sergio Simpson show, but it got canceled because of COVID. I actually, my uncle took me to go see Blue Oyster Cult. But he got the fucking time wrong and showed up when they had just finished. Oh. Yeah. And the whole event was wrapping up. I've never been in a concert. Man. That is painful. That breaks my oh, heart. I have never been to any concert or show. But I, I feel like I'll, I'll, I won't like it. The loud music, it's too much Can't for me, say probably. I have. Can't say I have heard chap rap, Mr. Wizard Wisconsin. What the fuck did I just get? Mm -hmm. So I can only assume that chap rap is just British people who don't know how to rap rapping. It is majestic. Yeah, I think I'm right. Probably. Yeah, me and me and was in Wisconsin here are gonna make a show called Ribbon, and it's just about a British guy, a British kid named uh, what the what the hell was his name again? It was something similar to Ruben, but it's just like this completely boring show. Like oh, I remember that. <laughs> you know, every British Who made it up? Did you yes. make it up? I don't know. I I think we were just kind of like throwing shit out together together. I mean, hey, that's how some of the best ideas are made. That's how I got Chonky Boy. Chonk. I think of me and Javi were probably watching like a show... Like, why are these guys doing bad things? How? Why isn't there like just a like a remember, boy that just doesn't when do anything? You told me you guys were watching cheeky, uh, or you guys were watching uh, Peaky Blinder. Uh, it was, oh, uh, Peaky! Uh, are you talking about Peaky Blinders? Yeah. No. Yeah, no? but hold on. Pretty Little Liars, Jesus, Nick. Oh God, no! We don't talk about that in my show in my presence ever. No, I hate he, that. He mixed show. the uh, the names together. It was like Peaky Little Liars. <laughs> <laughs> Can we watch Peaky Little Liars? And Nick just kept on laughing. <laughs> oh my God! Stop laughing at that. That is Peaky horrible. Little... No, and he yet, called so it true. Peaky Little Blinders. <laughs> Pretty Peaky little blinders. Got a secret. Can you keep it? Got a secret. Can you keep it? Swear this one you'll save. Better look it I'm in so your pocket. I'm so done. Take I wanna this die. one to the grave. Then go ahead. <laughs> Don't okay. do it already. It's because I'm already in my bed. I can just die like already. He's on his you. deathbed right there. We're just waiting for him to go. <gasps> It's the police. Don't worry, officers. We're not the ones who ended them. So, that sounds like it's going to be the end of the rocks uh, subject right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, possibly. Okay. I let's... think end all be all is rock good. Yeah. 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 I'm rock very much a fan of, of the rock genre. Rock good and rock very encompassing. Let's move on. Let's see. Let's go to Jesus talking about pop. The fact that it's got so many subgenres doesn't hurt either. Fair enough. Metal, new metal, soft rock, God. pop rock, rock and rap. Okay, let's let's move on. There's a lot of rock. Oh. Yes, there is. We go ahead and move on. All right, Jesus, you're talking about pop. Tell us some a little about pop. Oh, it pops. That is it. Pop, no, drop no, no. it. Try that again. <laughs> Jesus. Try. Right? <laughs> hey, where's my what? Where's my power? To, where's my power to boot him? I'm lazy. Okay. I don't um... know where your power to boot him is. You took away my power to boot him if he makes stupid decisions again. I I didn't do anything to you. I swear. Mara, they're gonna boot me. No, uh, give it back. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't... Tell their mothers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> They're being mean in the play date. You didn't say tell their dads because mine wouldn't care. <laughs> the the tough love is... got the bitch, the tough love mom, so suck it up and deal with it. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. You want a straw, buddy? But, but yeah, 
Who in my who in my family are you gonna tell? The disowned dad or the mom that stands by me? There you go. There we go. <laughs> I you want a straw for this? This is you want a straw for that? You want a straw, Jesus? Do you want a straw? I want a sippy cup. Alright, yeah. You want some ice for that? Suck it up. Um. Anyway. I can't think of any pomp on my head. Um. Come on. I can hear Talk about the genre, man. You picked it. Okay, there is an entire man named the King of Pop. Yeah, him. He's he's a thing. Tell us, tell us who he is. Come I on. I don't remember at the top of my head. Just beat it, beat it. Beat oh it, yeah. Beat it, beat it. No one my wants dad. to be defeated. <laughs> <laughs> my dad. I'm tired. I'm sorry. It's Michael Jackson. I think. Oh, Give us his dad when it walks home. Just beat it, beat it. Take out your kid and beat it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Um, yeah, Point him. View, he's Samara great. Knows that, that is... Maybe this is mm. Thriller, Thriller Night. It's almost Halloween. Like a, Come on. I like a couple. I'm thinking of about it. He actually went into a variety of genres. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shut up. He's he's the king of pop. Prince was good too. He's yeah, but his nice. earlier songs were pop. Were more Shut pop, up. But his later he's, songs he's start diving into rock. No, he's the king of pop. That's Shut the thing. He literally has the title. No, I know, but yeah. And the King of Rock is already taken. Yeah, that's Elvis. Mr. Presley. We have to um, make sure that you do not appear here again. Bailiff, whack his pee pee. Yeah, Amazing. I I can't think of any. So, yep, you can skip me. Thank he's you. Also Prince. I may go. Come on, man. Yeah, Prince, he's Prince. good. He did. He didn't talk about Prince, but he said it. Bailiff, yeah. Mac is pee pee. Ah! All right, so I guess no more about pop. Jesus. I mean, I like I like Pink. I think she has a lot of pop music. I don't know. I'm tired. That is pop. Pink. But see, we're not I ready think, at all I for this you need to go episode. To bed, bro. No, I was I not. I think you need to leave and go to bed. Yeah, I Thank think you. Need As co-host, I... I banish you. No, be nice. No, I'm banishing him to the sleep dimension. You cannot banish him to the sleep dimension. He I needs to I sleep. To make sure you do not appear. My power. We need to make sure you do not appear here again. Bailiff, haunt his dreams and use your claws. Yes. Alright, have fun, bro. Freddy Krueger, okay. we'll see you later. Good night. Good night. So, that is... One of us leaving mid call once again, just like in episode one when Sam left us. Oh Truly yeah. A sad day. And he never and came back. He back never came again. back. Yeah. All right, I need to perform a ritual to replace Jeebus with Sam. He, Sam was consumed by the void. <laughs> just. I would, like, I would like to escape the dark dimension. A soul for a soul. The law. Can we get? Can we get? Uh, can we get <laughs> Sam out of the? No, it's not equivalent exchange. Sam is worth way more. I'm sorry. <laughs> be nice. Damn. I have to Jesus can you. still be He's watching manager. this, you know. <laughs> wow, no you're wow. manager. I have to. That's a little rough. Let's just go ahead and let him hear it. It's true anyway. Moving on. <laughs> oh my. See, you can't blame me when the host says it. <laughs> what I say is law. I will also miss the I am the, the co-host. The man, laws man. are secondary for me. Anyways. Anyways. Who did we lose? <laughs> <laughs> Who did we lose? I kicked Krem. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Hey, you're the one who keeps saying it. I wasn't going to make you enforce it. Uh, so, I guess last one after that is going to be Samara. Um, okay, I grew up in the, uh, I mean, I was born in, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and say I was born in the mid-90s, so growing up around that time, even at five, like, I knew a lot of, like, punk songs, and but that was also the time when, like, punk and pop kind of took, like, a weird turn, 
and turn into one of my favorite weird genres. But then the Goodbye. other thing is like I really like about punk is that there's so many different versions. Like you've got pop punk, you've got uh alternative punk, you've got metal punk, you've got like there's even metal, there's even pop metal, which I, that is a weird genre, let me tell you right now. But I like punk because, like, also, not only is the music, like, there's so many different genres of it, but the people in punk, like, actual punk heads, like, even metal heads, too, are actually one of the genuinely nicest people I've ever met in my life. And I know that and sounds very weird. Nick, but let me explain. Surprise like, you, uh, but... Uh, my mom is actually a metalhead. Metalheads are the nicest people ever. So let me give they, a they perfect are and it's example. baffling. Dude, that it, okay, terrifies let me. Give a, me, me. Hey, right? You know, Avi's mom let is me a give you a perfect example. She was a okay? she was a covert metalhead. Yeah, no, metalheads are like some of the nicest people you no, ever no, no, meet. No, 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 that's and not like, what I'm talking about. I met his mom in person. This uh -huh. is the first I've ever even had a slim guess that she's a metalhead. This is the first he's ever known of it. Jesus, that really? is like See, now so I wanna, shocking. Now I want to meet your mom just so I can be like, ah, yes, secret metalhead. Well, and like, so the reason I'll say this, so like, for instance, at my, I went, so I didn't, growing up, I didn't get to go to a lot of metal shows or punk shows because my parents were always worried that I would get hurt because, you know, girls, nah, throw, you know, throw hurt. the child in the mosh pit. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. Sacrifice the child to the mosh pit. Sacrifice exactly. The you and will my mom come out always... stronger. <laughs> yeah. Well, my mom was always Reward worried I was the child hurt. in the pits. Well, anyway, my mom was always scared I was going to get hurt, so she never liked me going to like punk shows or like I went to rock shows as a kid, but I never really went to any like punk shows or anything like that. You know what I mean? So. I mean, growing up, I always wanted to go to one, and so I didn't finally go to my very first metal concert until I was about 26, which was, like, last year. Um, and I was, like, first of all, I felt like I, su I, I stuck out so hard to crowd. Even though I was wearing, like, a bad religion shirt, I had my Vans, ripped up jeans, and a plaid shirt, I still felt like I was, like, I, I'm not among my peers. Like, this feels weird. And, like, People were even come up, they're like, is this your very first metal show? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, well, welcome to the club. You're in the perfect place. You're in the pit. You're going to get spit on by Corey Taylor, and it is going to be godlike. And I'm just, like, sitting here like, wow, okay. And they even pushed me up to the front, and this one girl tried to rip my hair, uh, and, like, while I was in the pit, and, like, trying to pull me out, and, uh... Like, in a mean way. Like, she was trying to rip me out so she could get in. And some guy just decked her and moved me forward and said, This is for show! Get the fuck out! Like, you know... Yo, that's like, one of my favorite things that I've heard about metalheads who just outright deck somebody. Oh, yeah! No, like, and there was about this how one getting, where... Getting some, someone getting absolutely decked is just part of metal shows. It is! And, like, I actually walked out of my Slipknot... Sh very first metal show was Slipknot. And I walked out, first of all, getting spit on by Corey Taylor, which was wonderful. And then at the same time, like, lo like losing, like, I don't know how to explain it. When you're at a metal show, like, all bets are off. So you can, like, when you're in the mosh pit, you throw arms. Like, but the thing is, there is a rule. There is a rule. If you deck people, it cannot be in the face. They will get mad at you, actually, for that shit. Unless you have a good enough reason. Oh, and the worst one. Let me give you a perfect example of the worst one I've seen. So there was a, so this was, I mean, technically this was a punk show, but it's this, the same rules apply to metalheads, that same thing applied to punks. And so we were at this one show, um, I think it was one, actually, you know what, it was the Sum 41 show. Um, I went and saw Sum 41 for my birthday with my best friend, and I actually got heat stroke and passed out. And literally... The one of the opening artists actually stopped singing, and it was Simple Plan, which was kind of like, what the hell? Like, not expecting. But they actually stopped the show, so make sure me and one other girl got out of the uh, middle of the, like, where the pit was. Because we were like, we when we passed out, we passed out. Like, I went unconscious. 
and they actually pulled me through and got me into the tent and I woke up in the tent and they're like, oh, you good? Okay, you're good. Okay, well, we'll get you back to the front whenever you're ready. Whereas when I went to a pop concert and everybody was just kind of rude to each other, like, how do I explain it? Like, nobody was, like, smiling. Everybody was kind of like, oh, well, there was, like, some kids that were trying to get up front. Oh, no, the kids don't get to get up front. No, 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 no. Whereas, like, even the metalheads, like, when we went to Slipknot, they actually pushed the kids up front so they could be there for their very first concert, you know? So, it's just, like, it's also the vibe that goes with it is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Uh, hell yeah. But, no, I will say, Krem is right. You've never seen anything until you've seen a metalhead deck somebody in the face, especially if they're being a bitch. Oh cleansing uh i'm actually gonna send a video um of a metalhead that i know who did a tier list people at shows who will punch me (laughs) (laughs) and the tier the tiers are would spin kick great aunt debbie will hit you (laughs) when your back is turned struck a tiny 14 year old seems proud pushes people at the edge of the pit and is being kicked in the face by a cro- I can't see what the last one is. Is being kicked in the face by a crowd surfer. Oh god. I was kind of oh hoping god. the last one would just be called Dude, crowd surfers, crowd surfers are actually the worst at shows because let me tell you, especially like if you're up front and you're like me and you're shorter and you get landed on wrong, ah. Oh, and then they're like, what's the matter, huh? You chose to be up here, huh? I, you knew this I feel when happen. I have no arm strength. I'm, that's one thing of, like, I don't want to go to a show and be up front. Because, again, I've never been to a show. But I'm terrified of the idea of having to support a human body and not being strong enough. And then I am pinned under somebody's body mass. Yeah, no, it's a real thing. It's going to be some sweaty guy who's never, who hasn't showered in three weeks. And he just ate beans. Oh, well, I'll tell you the worst. Dying, and I'm already dead. <laughs> Wait, what? Now, I'll tell you the worst is when you get like people who like legitimately just don't care and treat everybody like shit. And it's just like, bro, go away. And it, 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 they're the worst people to be around for any shows. But anyway, sorry to mean to prattle on. The longest one so far. We love it. Sorry. Well, I guess to kind of follow on that, talking about rap a little bit, uh, I I didn't actually like rap for a little while up until I was watching a video with some of my friends. It, it's I think it's been deleted, but it's a 40-minute video called Anime on Crack. And there's oh, one scene where oh, it's... God, was that a 40-minute video? Yes. I didn't realize it was 42 40 minutes, minutes 16 seconds. It, wait, did, did it get deleted? There's no way anime on crack got deleted. It's gone. You could probably find reposts of it, but the original is gone. <clears throat> but, um... Defibrillator was the, uh, the YouTube channel that did this. And, uh... There's this one scene where it shows, uh... Ryuk... Where he's like talking to, uh, uh, to Light. Yeah. But they have him like like opening and closing his mouth real fast, and it's just uh, rap god. Some of them, some of them, you what I get to get through to him. Superman, innovative, and a bit of a civility. The case is Christian. I've made one. I'm what I've said. Then I've been straight. Had to give a motherfucking audience a feeling like I've never been in the head of everyone. The bit of this civil off to be celebrating because I know the way to get him motivated. I make elevating music. I make elevating music. You know, it was oh, it was that mainstream. Part. Yeah, it was doing that part. So just imagine Shinigami Ryuk standing there going, uh, some lama dumb lama, you some lama, you what I gotta do to get it through to you. Yeah, it's just that. And so I thought, damn, that actually sounds good. And so I looked up Eminem. Thank you, Eminem. Didn't find it, Thank gave up. God. Two weeks later, I ended up listening to, uh, to some Tech Nine. <laughs> uh, specifically, Am I a Psycho? I love Tech Nine. There, I, I, 
there's the only reason I didn't choose Tech Nine to sing uh, one of Tech Nine songs for my intro is uh, there is a very specific word. It's Uncle Ruckus's favorite word that Tech Nine says a lot. Uncle Ruckus's favorite word, which we will not say because we are not PewDiePie in that one video. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yep. Thanks, PewDiePie. We are not recreating the PewDiePie bridge sequence. You ruined Twitch for everyone else. Krem, are you watching my stream? Yeah. Well, there you go. I'll give you that for just a little bit. Uh, does anyone else want to add anything to the whole rap thing while we're at it? Um, I will say that... I have always wanted to see Eminem in concert because yeah, I hear he's. We have viewers. We do. There's it doesn't people. say that they're there, but we actually have one, two. We apparently have seven people viewing the stream that aren't me. I like that. what? Oh, hot damn! Oh, look at this grow. Because um, yeah, you can actually I... see how many viewers there are that aren't like you know, counting counting as viewers. Gotcha. That is weird, but well, I, I didn't think people were actually watching this. Oh, I mean, they're not yeah. chatting, but apparently they're there. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, uh, hey. I, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Like, I'll take it. Ah, but the sound I will of say, progress. Oof. It feels good. I will That's say that I've always wanted to see Eminem in concert because I hear he's just like a monster when it comes to live shows and it's just been one of those things I would love to see him do. I just um, love to interact with Eminem because he seems like such a genuinely interesting and cool person. I'm assuming oh, yeah. you've heard about like how um he he wanted to attend his daughter's graduation but didn't but insisted that he stay in like a classroom and get it like sent to the TV in that room because he didn't want to steal the thunder from what was supposed to be her big night. Yeah, so and I thought that was very classroom, sweet. Watching it get, you know, sent via but, TV. But that's a true, honestly, that's such a, that that's a true good parent right there. Because exactly. the whole point is that you don't want to take it away from your kids. Like, that's your kid's moment. And I respect him for that, because not a lot of parents would do that. Because instead, I, I see yeah, all these I parents out. That. Yeah, I'll, I see all these parents out here trying to make it about them. And it's like, bro, it's not about you. It's about your kid. Eminem really is just an amazing parent. I remember in oh, an interview, he did mention that he doesn't want his uh, daughter to listen to his music until she's, like, in her teens, because he doesn't want to expose Fair. her to all that swearing. Yeah, no, I don't stuff. blame him. <laughs> daddy was just saying that stuff to make money. No, Daddy was for real in that talk right there. Yep. Uh, Actually, speaking of other rappers, um, I'm trying to remember which one this one was. I don't remember his name, but there's a rapper out there who doesn't believe in racism. Not that he doesn't think it's real. He doesn't believe in being racist or treating someone different because of their skin color or anything like that. Uh, let me pull up. Try to find him. By the cause of decent human being. Quick, Holy somebody shit, have a picture. Bit of we had one of those. It's an endangered species. <laughs> uh, on a real note, though, Lil it's Wayne. really not that hard, guys. Come on. Uh, oh, yeah. Lil Wayne. You know? Lil Wayne. He absolutely oh, really? does not believe in being racist. The story he told was when he was a kid, he tried to shoot himself. And uh, three cops uh, responded to the, uh, the shot. Uh, the first one hopped over him. The second one hopped over him. The third one came up. Saw a kid on the floor with a, a bullet in his chest and went, What the fuck are you guys doing? And uh, the other Jesus cops Christ. the other cops said uh, they were trying to check the place for uh, like drugs or other weapons. And this cop said, you found it There's a kid head. with a sh bullet in his chest and you're leaving him. What the fuck are you doing? And so this cop, uh, Lil Wayne, calls him Uncle Bob. I think it was Uncle Bob. I don't remember the name that well, but he, uh, this cop didn't call an ambulance. He didn't uh, get an ambulance to come there. He picked uh, Lil Wayne up, 
put him in his car, drove him to the hospital, and carried him inside to the room and made sure he got to the room. Thank you. Made sure he got to the room to uh, make sure he wasn't going to die. And the way Lil Wayne described him, he says Uncle Bob is white as snow. And the three guys who hopped over his body were blacker than him. Yep. I also would like to point out, um, he was 12 at the time. Yep. Yep. So, like, that was a literal child. Not some teenager. That was a kid. Yep. I honestly didn't really know Lil Wayne that well. When I heard that, I'm like, oh, wow. That's... Very yeah, this, this, is the, this is the quote. They saw me. They as in the cops. They just jumped clean over me and went through the house talking about, I found the drugs, I found the gun. It took a guy named Uncle Bob. He ran up there, and when he got to the top of the steps and saw me there, he refused to even step over me. Yep. Damn. Hot damn. Hot damn indeed. One of them yelled, I got the drugs, and that's when he went crazy. He was like, I don't give a fuck about no drugs. Do you not see the baby on the ground? Isn't that heartbreaking when you hear stuff like that? That that just, uh, that hurts me. Oh, sorry, me. boss. We called the ambulance. He's like, I don't give a fuck. So he called one of their names and said, your car, now. Yep. Uncle Bob right there, and that that's that's Lil Wayne. That's why he don't believe in racism. So I actually saw something that reminds me just of this, and this is the reason why so I have a lot of respect for a lot of vocalists nowadays because there are some of them that are just genuinely good people, and then some that are just downright terrible people. And uh but like honestly when it comes down to personality, I think my two favorite people artist wise is um Lady Gaga, and uh, honestly, this is going to be kind of weird. I actually really like Kanye West, and let me tell you why. Because he, and uh, this is not me as a white woman saying this, he said, he even said in an interview, because they said, so how do you feel about the fact that not a lot of black people like your music anymore because you tell them to stop being victims? And he goes, because it's a real thing. Because people victimize themselves, and they let Americans victimize them, but in reality, they have just as much ability to do what they want. And the fact that, you know, they're not willing to take responsibility for their futures. But then they sit there and go, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, it's because I'm Hispanic. Oh, it's because I'm a minority. And he's like, look at me. He's like, I came from literally like I was broke. He's like, I had nothing to my name. And he goes, and I turned myself into an artist. He's like, so no, I don't agree with people victimizing themselves and it was just kind of a wow i did not expect that at all so some people can surprise you yeah it's kind of crazy i was like really shocked i was like wow you know it, it, it it's because if it, it it's people like that is what we need more of because other people just sit here and go oh yeah no they're they just we don't understand their their lives so we can't judge them and it's like no these people actually live their lives so they can judge them you know so anyway that was just me yes yes indeed <sighs> anyway but yeah uh world is full of surprises sometimes I do guys. Amen. Ow. There we go. I mean, this, <laughs> this gnome well is ugly as sin, ain't it? Uh, yep. Who? And it's dirty as all hell. The well, we're well, so. cleaning. Yeah, we're, we're cleaning uh, a fountain. Um, uh, on the power wash. Yeah. And the poodle wash. It, it is still the power wash. That is still the whole point of this podcast. All right, well. What one is, day I will get a computer. What is one song that you definitely do like from your uh, topic, Mr. Co-host? Okay, so here's the thing. I love pretty much every single you song. You can choose more than one app. if you'd like. Um, and if you, wanna, if you so, have a specific reason why, you can say that as well. Yeah. Um, 
Let me just pull up the whole list real quick. The whole list and that and this oh. and this and that. All right, so one of my favorites, just because of the way it feels and, and the power behind the actual line that comprises the title, is just Best, play, best Clockmaker on Mars. Best Clockmaker on what now? Mars. Best Clockmaker on Mars. Um, now, as far as the lyrics go, it is not my favorite lyrically out of all of the songs, but just when he says Best Clockmaker on Mars, it's just very powerful. Um, as for... As for uh, other stuff, like I said, the whole thing's just really good, but um, Sing Along's definitely, like, probably the most well-known song of the album, and it does deserve it. Nice. But um, Remember to Breathe is also really good as well. I, it's it's hard to pick a favorite. They're all just so good. Uh, since the... Uh... Oh, I completely forgot to actually bring up the most important thing about the album. When I discussed it, the album was specifically created to be a experience on Netflix with visuals for every video, not just like a music video, but it is actually the entire album uh, in Netflix where every, you know, every song has its visuals associated with it, and it actually does tell a cohesive story. That's kind of cool. But the storytelling is done through just the songs and the visuals. There is no, like, you know, narration kind of like, or anything like kind of that. Like Daft Punk. Yeah, kind of like with Daft Punk. Um, it, it is just, it is a really good experience. I highly recommend it. Wonderful, wonderful. In fact, uh, uh, Nick, also... at some point, I would actually like to watch it with you if you'd be down. Of course, of course. Uh, also, since... Um... Uh, the hell is his name? Sturgeon. Sturgill Simpson. Sturgill Simpson. Uh, since he's mainly a uh, a country singer, is it okay if uh, we lump just country into your talk as well? Because there are some country I songs I actually do like. I suppose, but like I said, country is normally not my alley. I think I know one you would like. It's called uh, "Welcome to." It's called Third Rock from the Sun" by uh, by Joe Diffie. Uh, for anyone out there listening, Third Rock from the Sun." It's not uh, related to the show. It's its own thing. It's funny as hell. Shit goes from zero to a hundred really fast, and the end is just a uh, is just the beginning again. I, I will so I will say since we're talking about country, um now mm -hmm. you have heard, even though you did have a uh, unanticipated reaction to the song, would you agree with my assessment on the dead don't die about being painfully country looping back into being funny again? No. It was country. It was a beautiful song. I had a completely different takeaway from it, and since I didn't exactly have 100% of the context that it was a zombie movie that the song is in and named after. I had a very completely different uh, mental reaction to the song as well. The song has a completely different meaning to me. It's not funny to me at all. It is just beautiful. And it's one of those songs where I'll either never be able to listen to it all day or I'm listening to it on repeat. Well, that, that is in part due to your specific circumstances. At some point, I would like our guests to listen to that song and see if any of them agree with my assessment of the song. Of course, of course. I won't deny, it has very powerful lyrics, but if you zone out enough to not pay enough attention to the lyrics or think of them purely in a zombie context, I think it's funny. Because li literally when I was first watching the movie... I was sitting there laughing, because again, it is a comedy movie. They, they, that song was written explicitly to be, like, textbook country in terms of, like, parody levels. That's right, that's right. 
Uh, I do want to listen to it again, so I'm happy to listen to it with these other two. These are the two mongrels we hang out with. If you if you all have time, I would love for us to sit down and watch uh, Sound and Fury. Uh, I might have time. Just depends. I might, because I don't have... I don't work tomorrow, so... I mean, I'm not working do, until, like, next week. I start at 4 o'clock, so... Okay. I, I get home around 4.30 or 5. Damn it. Um, 4.30 uh, or 5 in the evening, or...? Yes. Yeah. We, Lee and Krem have the opposite schedule right now. Yeah, my uh, my schedule shifted around to all nights this week. Yep. And that's why he can't make it to Shadow of the Demon Lord, and also, I don't think uh, you'll make it to Vampire the Masquerade either. No, I always have off on Wednesdays. Oh, sh that's right, that's right, that's right. I always have off Wednesday and Saturday, which were the two days I already had D&D games. Oh, let me know if there's any open ones, because I'm bored as shit. Not in the one, not in the groups I'm in on Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, how about Friday, Samara? I work, uh, starting next couple of weeks, I work, I'm basically working Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Any other days, I'm off. Uh, I will well, say, yeah. I am, st I obviously can't make it this week, but I will still try to make it to Shadow of the Demon Lord when my schedule permits it. Yes. I just, you know, will have to uh, account for that with my character not necessarily being available constantly. Yep. I I'll, I'll find a way to account for that. If I can convince Brent to run Pathfinder 1E for us, Samara, would you be down on Tuesday nights if you can? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll do my best. Uh, wish me luck. Grant me inspiration for that extra D6. I let's will. Let's get back to the podcast as normal. All right. I've been doing a lot of singing, so it's safe to say you already got inspiration. It's actually You're funny. The for some reason, I don't play Bard as much as I probably should. Joke's on you. I'm probably a bard in real life. So am I. I'm I, not. <laughs> I know for a fact. I've been told by like everybody that I know that I'm a bard rogue multiclass 100%. I will say you are a very charismatic person no matter what. You, you definitely dumped into charisma. For me, yeah, everyone true. tends to think I am a bard paladin multiclass. You are not a paladin. I don't know what the fuck I would be. Um, breaker maybe. Yeah, if you're a paladin, you're 100% an Oathbreaker. Mm, thank you. If there's devils and demons around me, I'll be giving them bonuses. Which is funny, because one of my favorite rappers is Ghost Mane, who is actually a Satanist. Gotta okay, love that. Same way as metalheads are like unexpectedly nice, uh, Satanists are unexpected, yeah. unexpectedly nice. Nice. So okay, true Satanists, people who actually practice Satanists, yes. Because here's the thing. The basic form of Satanism is the belief that you are not governed by a higher power. You are your you are your own fate maker. So therefore, it is your job to live life to your fullest because at one point you will die and then you will have to understand the consequences for your actions. But after that, who cares? You don't have to answer to anybody. That's the whole point of it. So, yep. that's why they're so cool. And that's, that's why they're so chill. <laughs> Shit. All right. So we talked about that. We talked about that. Okay, let's go back to rock. Javi, what's what's some songs that you really like? Oh, shit. Where do I start? Oh, uh, live, and learn that I, live and Learn That I Just Sang is I, I one of my all-time favorites. I um, if I had to pick, like, a single song for for the, like, the 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 bands I've I've listened a lot of like like rock for. Crush Forty is gonna have to go to Live and Learn. Uh, for Imagine Dragons. Uh, it's actually kind of a tough. It is a lot, but if I absolutely had to um had to pick one. Oh, ah, the shit. misery. No, it's, it's good, but surprisingly, I would say it's, I would not say it's my favorite. I, I think I'm going to have to give that This to... is my kingdom come. I'm going to give it to kingdom. whatever it takes. If I had to choose my favorite Imagine Dragon song, I think it'd have to go to Thunder. 
Thunder's pretty good, but I, I think in terms of like going more for that kind of rock kind of element to it, I think that whatever it takes is pretty good. Well, Thunder is still rock. It's yeah, but I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I like it when it hits hard and whatever it takes hits harder. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, what other rock songs do you guys like? I'm thinking like other like genres that I like as well, because this is also Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco. Oh, shit, uh, there's a lot. Uh, it's also disco. an issue of just rock is such an all-encompassing... There's also okay, yeah, I'm gonna Hollywood sound, Undead. I'm going to sound really old, but my favorite Imagine Dragons song is Time to Begin. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. I think for follow-up, I'm going to say thanks for the memories. Uh, one of my favorite songs, I think I'm going to have to go with uh, War of Change by... Uh, by Thousand Foot Crutch. It's pretty good. I'm just okay, going to start I, out there. I, can, I unfortunately I can can't that. pick a favorite because of how all-encompassing rock is. Again, yeah. I have issues with genres for this exact reason. Asking me to pick my favorite of something out of a very large category is like asking me to pick a singular pin out of a stack of pins. Well, yeah. the subgenres are also there within rock, so... Metal, as well as Screamo, even though none of us like that. Uh, trap metal. New metal. Yeah, so there's a reason rock, why I'm, I'm going rock. by a song per artist, because it makes it easier to narrow it down. And artists as well. Yeah. Artists are also rock and stuff like that. I would like to point out, JoJo's is a great example of the factor of Hirohiko Rocky will never run out of names for stands and characters because there is that many Rocky musicians and songs. Fair enough. Like, I actually and made... And a motherfucker so... who uses almost only rock names for stands. So, I I actually made... So, I was in a... For a while, before I joined uh, and met Brett and CJ, I was actually in a and d where we did a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure d d Let me tell you I how wild... I that... JoJo system. Oh... It is so much fun. And um, so mine was, um, I had a stand, and mine was Iron Maiden. Nice. Oh, nice. Mine was yeah. actually a sing-along. Please tell me it had, like, a crushing-based ability. Or, like, a... What was it, and, and so my, my, stand, my stand's ability was the fact that it could compress people. So the fact was, like, I basically my stand was a physical Iron Maiden. It could capture, basically, people's... Uh, like other stands and keep them captive for certain rounds. Fun. Do you want to hear what yeah, my stand it... was? What? So mine was Sing Along, which I took the name from uh, Sturgill Simpson's song. But uh, basically my character got pricked with the stand arrow, but instead of it giving me a stand, the arrow became the stand. And its Jesus. ability w was if I pricked another stand or user... I could use their stand ability, and it was an act stand, so it would eventually change as I got more powerful. Shit. The uh, the stand I want would just be, like, burning things with pure fire. I'd call him the Red Hot Chili Pepper. Red Hot but Chili Pepper. There's, already, there's already been a Red Hot Chili like, Pepper. I don't care. And it was an electricity-based stand. I don't yeah. care. Fine, then. I'll be the Red Knot Chili Pepper. <laughs> Oh, they're real. I okay, they're a real is cover band. This is still technically music, so I can talk about this continuously. Um, JoJo's Part 6, Part 2 just came out on Netflix, and I'm fucking pissed. Because, as those who those of you who know JoJo's, you know they, me, use, they use copyright you. names. They use copyright names, so they have to change them for legal purposes. Now, normally, these are, you know, not that bad. Like the main stand of the part stone free is called stone ocean yeah that's all right now a a one that i just watched that i loved the name it had in the manga is so the actual band name is limp biscuit yeah oh God. in the manga they called it flaccid pancake <laughs> <laughs> which i love I love that it was called that because it was it bothered so many people, but it was so funny uh, that it was flash of pancake because it still fits based off of the It does. Edition. It's a breakfast cereal. <laughs> now, they've changed it 
to limp viscit. Oh. <laughs> oh like instead of, bi- so instead of biscuit better. spelled the way it is in the band, they spelled it viscuit, like biscuit the food is actually spelled, but with a V. I would Jesus. I would have preferred I was so mad. So they worse. they got rid of flaccid pancake. <laughs> So I thought you were gonna also, ruin Stone Ocean for a minute, and I was gonna kill no, you. No, and no, I was like, I please wasn't, don't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I just needed to talk about how annoyed I was about that. However, the all-time best, and I mean best, stand localization name is for Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, abbreviated yes. as D4C. Yes. Filthy oh acts at a reasonable price. <laughs> <laughs> That is the name that it was given. I love it. What a great name it was, too. Filthy X. I, I don't think they'll ever change that one because it's just too good. Is it still like that? My cat show? meowing. It's, that's not in this. I just thought the other one was called DD, that is in uh, DD4 DT. Wait, it was DD4 DC. D4C. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, some stands that have some stands or characters that have long names are abbreviated. Such as in Stone Ocean, there is a stand slash user named Foo Fighters. Very good band. Very good band, um, and I was so excited that he made it into a stand. Or she made it into a stand. I keep forgetting yeah. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure writer is a female. No, Hidehiko Araki's a guy. No, I thought it was a. I'm gonna Google Hidehiko it. Hidehiko Araki is a guy, and he is a vampire. He also uh, based a lot of the looks and style of the characters off of Rambo. Yep. Yep. Or um, Schwarzenegger. But, yeah. I'm um, very not surprised. So Foo Fighters in, is in part six, and uh, but because they don't want to say Foo Fighters every single time they address this character, the name is just abbreviated to FF. Hmm. But well, the full name of the stand and user is Foo Fighters. Nice. And, you know, D4C, because they don't want to sit there and say filthy acts at a reasonable price every time they address the ability. I mean, come on, it's not like every other anime doesn't do that. Yeah. But that's why JoJo's is good. It's abbreviated. JoJo's is amazing, and I, I'll fight anybody who disagrees. If, if your ability takes forever to fucking say, don't say I don't, it. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's powerful. It's like you, you kind of like give away a lot of shit and give expose yourself to get hit while you're trying to say your fucking ability. I That's cast ultimate point. fireball that gets launched in an arc above my head. It's like as you're just like saying all that. Ah. It's just like the Fist of is- the North Star. It's like they start talking and he's like, "You're already dead." Like, it's the whole oh, point. Yeah. JoJo is very good, and it has good music for both the actual, like, names of characters and just the music in general. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I think we're done talking about Rock now. Jesus, unless Haji's got more. And yeah. Sorry for there. the JoJo tirade, but oh, I good. To. Uh, The only thing I'm gonna, I was going to say, I finally found what uh, song I would put for Panic at the Disco, and that would be High Hopes. Nice. Oh, for me... Okay, so can I just say Brandon Urie is a god? You can say that. Because it's that voice, that voice, man. But no, for me, if we're going to talk uh, Panic at the Disco, my favorite Panic at the Disco song is uh, uh, Ma, I Made It. Or Hey, Look, Ma, I Made It. Uh, Ma, I Made It, yeah. Oh, God. Let me tell you, that, for me, so cool thing about college, um, you get to, when I'm done with it, I get to decorate my cap, right? And I'm going to use a lyric specifically from that song, which is... No. Well, that, but I I was going to use... There's a specific... Yeah, yeah, it's from that song. And the exact line is... um, uh, (laughs) God damn it. I'm going to look for the lyric now. Um, But, like, there's this one specific lyric that I really, really like. And it's become... And I, I've liked um, my uh, Panic at the Disco since I was a kid. I mean, my favorite song before Hey Look Ma, I made it for a very long time, even after their new music came out, was Nine in the Afternoon, because that song is beautiful. 
and um um did you talking about how when you were a young boy uh, when i was when how I young was a young is that what kind of called... but that's also a very good song and i'm disappointed cuz i cannot see them in concert cuz the ticket costs like five hundred dollars, and I'm not paying five hundred dollars to go see My Chemical Romance when it cost me sixty to see it when I was in high school. Um, no. Um, <laughs> shit. Um, when I was a young boy, the tickets only cost sixty dollars. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. That was looking great. When I oh, was... Look, I'm the so it's very, so it's I was the very not first ready line for that. The, oh my god. So it's the very first line of the song, and that's the reason why I'm beating myself up. So it says, all my life been hustling, and tonight is my appraisal. And literally, that is the one I'm putting on my cap uh, when I graduate college. It is not college. the very first line, I don't think. Huh? It is. Let me, let me double check. All my life been hustling, and tonight is my appraisal. Oh, oh, it yeah. Is. And th that is the very first line. And after I heard that, I was like, fuck. Because it, the song is so good because it can be applied to anything. Yeah, it can be applied to if you're trying to make music or trying to better yourself or anything. And it's like you're surrounded by like, and if you're surrounding yourself with negative energy, you're going to get negative energy back. So that's the reason why I really, really like the song. And uh, but before that. The other song that I still really like by uh, Panic at the Disco is Nine in the Afternoon because they took references from one of my favorite Beatles songs, which is Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And they took that and were like, what if we modernized it and made Nine in the Afternoon? So, okay. fun fact. Uh, as we are currently talking about lyrics, can I say a really good lyric from Sing Along by Sturgill Simpson? Yes. Compromise is made out of peace, but history is made out of violence. Oh. After the war of the worlds has ceased, all that's left is the deafening silence. Yep. Hot damn. Another one that... I, I, more lyrics that I did remember is from Nothing More. The first song I ever heard from them was Go to War. And there's a a break at one point where uh, Johnny Hawkins he's singing, uh, "Do we censor? Do we flow? Are we drunk on the chemicals? Every feeling in my bones tells me to lash out and tell you to fuck off. You've got my heart and I've got your soul." But are we better off alone? With every battle, we lose a little more. Remember everything that we die for. You are everything that I die for. I just want you to know you're making my cat yell. Good. I'm sorry. Good. He's just He's literally really rawr. Rawr. Did you guys <laughs> Do you guys understand though what I was saying? Of when you say the lyrics to the the songs from that album, you sound like you're singing country. Yes, and that hurts my soul because I don't like country that much. But the songs are really good, and they're not country. <laughs> he, it's it's because of the southern accent. That's gotta be what it is, son. Your well, no, last I was my best to sing it the way he actually oh, does God. sing it. Put some music on that soft and slow. I have to hear that song all fucking day at oh, work. I, God, Stop I, yelling! Because I, I can, I can do a southern like accent for southern song or like proper country. I heard I you start it. to go into one for a second. Holy shit! We've corrupted him. I can't stop yelling! Turn the lights down low. Put Baby some the music on. Turn the lights light down low. low. Put some music on. I hate that song. Please so. stop. Okay. Why don't we take a ride on my big green tractor? <laughs> she likes my honk-a-tonk, but don't a dog Oh my god, please stop. 
How do you okay, think look, I like I, I like classic country. Like watermelon. Oh, no, no, no. I like classic country. So we're talking like, you know, Reba McIntyre or, you know, Dolly Parton, Johnny Cash, like oh, Willie Johnny Nelson. Cash. Like, like uh, that is the country that I listen to. I don't listen to this crap you sing in. Sorry. She walks point. into small The type games. of stuff I was just singing is what I hate. She walks into small kids one hip at a time like a broken field runner slipping through the lines. He likes the way she looks, so he calls a little wife, says, don't wait up for me. I'll be working late tonight. Wife hangs up the phone, bursts into tears, calls her sister up and cries, get over here. Okay, we can stop with the country now. My cat won't stop yowling. I'm begging you, stop. <laughs> Why is the cat hearing anything? <laughs> I don't know, but he won't stop. Stop I mean, yowling. The cat is broken for other reasons. <laughs> I think you broke your cat. You might need a new one. I, I, I God, think I wish. cat might just be upset about something else tomorrow. What could he possibly be upset over? It's a cat. <laughs> Name a thing is probably that. You had to rhyme, bro. You do that all the time? What? Yes. yes. Oh. Because I rhymed. Name a cat, it's probably... I have enough. Name... Shit. <laughs> it's <laughs> a cat. Name something, it's probably that. <laughs> Name a cat, it's probably <laughs> that. So, um... Yeah. Rock music, good. Monkey brains, agree. Yeah. Apes together strong. I can't yell again, so apparently he's going to bring that. Strong. Okay, so you're oh, kicking the cat's that cat not monkey out. brain, he's is it? Bring, the, the, bring the cat Noobs, into the park. Get down. Bring the cat. Let it speak. Noobs, what did you want to say? Oh, now he doesn't I, want to talk. I, I wish <laughs> to hear the cat's Wait, opinion. Wait, hold on. Are, are we going to be able to hear the cat right now if he, uh, if he yells? No. Noobs. Meow. Meow. Round. Stick no. the cat on the no. mic. He's purring now and rubbing his face into the phone. Okay, bring so it, bring my attention. Attention. All right, Javi, go back to it. Yes. Do it. Put some music on the soft and slow. No. Lock them doors and turn the lights down low. Come on, cat. Do the thing. Rubbing his face Ow. and purring against the phone now. What oh. is wrong with you? I think he just wanted attention. Almost heaven. Fair. West, West Virginia, Virginia. See, that's the thing, though, is I can't get, I can't get that really bad river. southern. Life is old there, older than the trees, older than the mountains, flowing like a breeze. Country roads, take, take me, me home. home. Okay, and now the place. So, I do want to think, I do think it's funny that we did transition from Krim's pseudo technically country into Javi's rock because that does remind me of Leonard Skinner. I love Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner is good. All right. My I'm totally... um should we, we we've been going for a bit. Should we work on trying to wrap it up? How long have you been going? Oh we've been going for uh coming up on two hours now. I think oh, we give shit. it one more go of talking around, then we sit. Uh, when we finish this talking round, 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 I get around, and then we can uh, start wrapping it up. Round, 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 I get around. So let's hop to Samara. Okay. What's what a, are we what's asking? A, what's a few Samara? songs that you like from your topic? Um. Well, so. I think one of my favorite songs All right, guys, that, that was like, the Podwash Powercast tonight. Good. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I I like a couple, but one of my favorites is um by Some Forty One. It's called Fat Lip, and it's the it, it's it it, it 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 like the beat of it is the I'm sure everybody's heard of it. It's the down 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 down. down. It's like literally one of the best lines and it, it, literally. I don't know. Like everything about the song is great, but one of my favorite lines in the song is straight up in the it's the it's the um bridge to the final chorus. And I straight up cannot make this. I can't make this up. This is literally the lyric. It goes um so it's 
Uh, so the whole thing is like about being a punk and just about nobody likes you because you just, and then you kind of just give up and don't care anymore, right? And so the bridge of the final chorus is great, and it goes, well, I'm no good, I'm, I'm a no good Nick, lower middle class brat, backpacked, and I don't give a shit about nothing. You'd be standing on the corner talking all about the cook, I, I can't say this, kafuffin, but you don't make sense from all the gas you'd be huffing. Because if the egg don't stain, you'll be ringing off the hook. You're on that. You're on the hit list. Wanted in the telephone book. I lock. I lock songs with distortion to drink in proportion. The doctor said my mom should have had an abortion. And I. (laughs) I heard this song when I was like ten. Okay. And I was going. And that's like when you're going through your like teenage phase or starting it. I started a little early. And I was like, every time I would hear that one, this one song come on, and my mom would get so mad, like mad at me, because I loved this song. But the part was like, he goes, "Doctor said my mom should have had an abortion, abortion," and then he like says it several times, and then he goes into the, you know, and I don't want to waste my time, you know, that whole thing. And so every time the part where it goes, the doctor said my mom should have had an abortion, I would look at my mom and just get like abortion, abortion, and like. <laughs> <laughs> as a kid who's adopted i don't think i should say that but it's funny um and to this day my mom like looks at me and shakes her head but that's like one of my favorite songs because it's like a like an angry like i don't give a fuck and um i love it and every time it comes on like me and my best friend lose our shit and then i guess the other song i really like is um a pair more song um, and it's Misery Business, which was the very first song I heard by them. Um, and it made me get their album later on. Um, and uh, it, it's probably the most well-known Paramore song. Um, it came out, like, I want to say, like, so 15 years ago. Yeah, I would say it was about probably 2008, I want to say, maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and try to, like, think about it. but. I really like a lot of different punk songs, but I I like a lot of different music as well. But the thing is, the reason I like punk, punk so much is because a lot of the same artists go and do different things. Like, they do country, or they do rap, or they do rock or pop, and but they still stay, stay in the weird punk aesthetic. And it's, I don't know. So, that's just some named a few. That I don't know why that sing the chorus is remind A uh, sling of a... Uh... Words reminded me of a uh, loser by Beck. Where he <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one too. In that's a punk I'm song too. Fancies, I was a monkey. Vitani on the veins, and I'm out to cut the junkie with the plastic eyeballs. Spray paint the vegetables, dog food stalls with the beefcake pantyhose. Kill the headlights and put it in new. Stock car flaming with the loser in the cruise control. Babies in the arena with the vitamin D. Got a couple couches. Sleep on the love seat. Someone came in saying I'm insane to complain about a shotgun wedding and a stain on my shirt. Don't believe everything that you breathe. You get a parking violation and a maggot on your sleeve. So shave your face with some mace in the dark. Saving all your food stamps and burning down the trailer park. Yo, (laughs) cut it. Yeah, no, literally, so Beck is also technically seen as a punk band, because that's the thing about the punk aesthetic, is that it's so many different bands, and you can be, you can, like, have so many different genres, and still be considered punk, but it's just so, it's not really a genre, it's it's an aesthetic. It is, it's just anything can be. I would argue it's a mindset. It is. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here thinking of teenagers at My Chemical Romance. Bro, Why don't you kill oh, me? so this is gonna make you feel like make me age myself a little bit, but okay. <clears throat> so the last time I saw my, my Chemical Romance was their uh, Black Parade tour. I was let me look it up. So I want to look up the date just to a make sure. Boy. I was a young boy, yes, but I was a young. Maybe I was a young boy. Who knows? You were a young boy. Um. When I Everyone was a young saw the Lord Black Parade was a young boy. Okay, it was 2007. So hang on. So it was between 2007 and 2008. I remember that they came 
right before I got into my next year of school. So it was 2000, it was probably like mm, April. Um, so 2008, I would have been in my freshman year of high school. So old. Yeah, I know I'm old. So I actually remember my friend and I actually snuck out to go see them. And I remember we both did the typical like early 2000s thing. It's like, you tell your parents you're going to sleep at my house. And I'm going to tell my parents you're going to sleep at your house. And then you have your cool older sister drive us to see My Chemical Romance. And we actually dressed ourselves like all in black. I, I had like thick eyeliner on. I did the whole nine yards. The reason why I don't have any pictures of that time, because let me tell you, I would never want to be seen like that again. Um, but uh, again. it's just like again. never again, <laughs> never again. And it's so it's so funny because now they're coming back out to tour again. And actually, this this September and my friend was like, you want to go see them? I'm like, yeah. And then we looked up the concert ticket. We're like, you know what? Let's let's not because they're like five hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, five hundred dollars for a single ticket. Yeah, I'd pass on that one. Yeah, considering that we went and saw them for sixty, I'm gonna say no. Now, and it's like so funny because like we're looking at Slipknot tickets because Slipknot's coming back in October, and we're looking at Slipknot. And I'm like, I can get a I can get a pit ticket for Slipknot for hundred and fifty bucks. Really, My Chemical Romance? Really? Um, and Slipknot's been I, doing this longer. May, may I bring up something that's been itching at the back of my mind? What? A song that I'm pretty sure had some demonic influence due to how successful it is. Which one? Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Ah, uh, yes. Is ingrained into the minds of everyone, even though they don't remember when they first heard it, or when they learned to know it by heart. Mm -hmm. But it is a song that when it comes on, everyone's collective brain still activates and everyone knows what is up. Every So every concert I've ever been to, and I've been to quite a lot. I've been to pop, I've been to punk, I've been to rock, I've been to... I even went to a uh, a jazz concert. Let me tell you, every time there was like a Bohemian... Every time Bohemian Rhapsody came on, which it came on for each one because of that, like, they play the same, like, set list. Um, and for some reason, it's supposed to match up with each concert, but they always sneak in Bohemian Rhapsody. And every time, everyone's one, like you said, everyone's one collective brain cell, and it's like, is, is this, this the real life? life? Is this is just this fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no, no escape like everyone knows that song. Everyone. I know. Uh, I, I know I of it. I just know the lyrics. I, so I'm assuming we've all seen or at least heard of Bad Omens or Good Omens. I mean, Good Omens. But because I believe it was in Good Omens that they're just like, yeah, we we. I believe I believe that Crowley was just like, yeah, yeah, I I influenced that. Would not surprise me. Really it's like matter. honestly considering the success of that song it really wouldn't surprise me if there was like angelic demonic interference involving to make that song as both. popular as it is there was oh both. i'm sure mama just killed a man put a gun against, against his, his head, head. Pull Pull my trigger trigger now he's dead, he's dead. Mama, mama Life had just begun. And everyone, everyone watching is. Just, I just. I'm sorry that we're just evolving into mumbling the lyrics. Yeah, right. Mama, mama. Didn't the wind blow. My brain's weird because I, I still have. My brain's, I, I still have teenagers going through my, my head. Teenagers, 
With all the lies in the books to make a citizen out of you. Because they sleep with a gun and keep an eye on you for all the terrible things you do. As the co-host, I'm going to declare, because the drugs kind of devolving here, so either repeat a proper subject or I think we should call it. So, Sorry. we're still on punk at the moment. Sorry. Would, yeah. uh, would uh, Hollywood Undead count as punk? Yes, they are absolutely punk. I want to sing one of their songs, but that one, <laughs> I don't know if I can get away with Uh-oh. that. Uh-oh. Which one? Kill everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> By the way. Come undone. Yep. Mm. Although the Ooh, first that's... song uh, I heard from them, I think, uh, which one was it? I don't remember which one I, I, what was the first song I heard from them. But yeah, they definitely do count as punk. They are definitely punk. So, has anyone else got anything else they want to add onto the punk list? Not for punk, in particular. No. I do All have right. something in general about music, but not punk specifically. All right, let's go ahead and jump to me then. Rap. A couple songs that I really like with uh, with rap. One is "Void Walker" by I Am Jake Hill. It's just it's it, it. I think it would Jake Hill also falls into the punk aesthetic, because if there was, I don't know if he falls falls into punk now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know. It's weird, because with, with Jake Hill, it's like, if there was a word for metal, but it applied to rap, that is what he does. Huh. Yeah, it's it's really weird, and my favorite song from him is Void Walker. Uh, but another, like, really good rap song that I like, specifically because the singer literally opens up with, I've been trying way too hard to make music, so I'm gonna make a song where I don't try at all. And that song is Trap Metal by Lil Darky. Ooh. And uh, he just didn't try. He he was just like, so what rhymes and what sounds good? Yeah, I'll put that. I'll put that. I'll put that. And he just, he didn't try at all, like, like he said. He just put down things that rhymed and sounded good, and it's still a banger. And he... This is a four-minute song, and this man does uh, two other accents and impersonates two fictional characters. He does? Yeah. He starts off singing with his regular voice, and then he goes into like this deep metal voice. Uh, but during that like, like deep metal voice song, he goes, Yo, bro, what you think you're doing with that strap? Oh, God, no, bro. Man. Oh, this is that. <laughs> if, you ta- if I take it, you can't have it back. You're slow, bro. <laughs> like a Pokemon I do not catch. I don't go anywhere but where the money at. And then after that, it's just... <laughs> he keeps with that metal uh, kind of voice, but now he sounds like Scooby. <laughs> 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 and then after that, he goes into... Uh, like a cowboy southern voice and then he just does a hard right turn into british accent (laughs) 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 i'm not kidding little dark he literally did that i love it i'm not even gonna try proceeds to try harder than (laughs) anyone has ever tried before I want to just sit here and Here's sing the thing. that song. If the but point I know was I to, be. the funniest thing is in my in my eyes is that to to do an accent or to do a like a an impression that is still trying. Yes, it is. <laughs> the whole I would was, know. I'm not gonna try at all. You look like <laughs> you look like a rat in a trap. Oh trap. no, bro! <laughs> oh no, bro! Hop up on the mirror, feel like Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Little Darky, I'm not gonna try his actual talent. Oh no, bro! <laughs> oh no, bro. Uh, but yeah. And another song that I really like, another rap I just absolutely love, I'll listen to it all day, any day, is gonna be Venom by Ghostman. Ooh, my game lag. I, think it's every, right. I don't know why, but every time you say Venom, I think you're gonna say Eminem. 
Uh, surprisingly oh, not yeah. this time. Every, every time. All these punk motherfuckers don't know. They run in their mouth like I won't kick in their dough. All these punk motherfuckers hitting my phone. You think we boys have never seen you on one of my shows? Ghostman. Hi, Bean. How are you? Hi. At. At. Show what Princess Pia Beanie. I'm just remembering Show ghost stories cat. now. Ow. She's now it's nipping not me. Because you're a re oh, God. Wait, what happened? I'm remembering ghost stories. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I'm quoting the correct thing here, right? Yes. It's yeah, not... buddy. It's, it's not because you're a rabbit. It's because you're black. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> uh, those stories will never get old. But oh, oh, is anyone... Tamara, it's hey, only oh the best God, dub of all time. Oh my God, are you talking about the dub for ghost stories? It's yes. only the best dub of all time. Oh my God. So... Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I've seen your mother before. She was... I I've seen this lady before. She was at a Pray the Gay Away camp I ran the other summer. That's her mother. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Wow, whoever must have done this must have been a ghost or a bitch. Run! She's a ghost and a bitch! <laughs> so, has anyone else got anything else they want to say about rap? Any songs they like? Particularly? No, now I want to go watch Ghost <laughs> Um, um I, I will say, yeah. I, I am not the biggest on rap, as I just have not... It, it doesn't... It's not that it's bad, it's just that it doesn't appeal to me as much, especially because... I there are some rap that. musicians there are some rap musicians not all but there are definitely some that make theirs with the intention of it being for a specific audience which I am not a part of and I am okay with that I'm also okay with people who still enjoy that anyways even if they're not part of the intended audience but th that does not mean that the entire genre is not for you know everyone because yeah. For example, some of the what are now considered classical artists of rap, I feel are pretty universal for everybody. I'm talking like, you know, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. Hell yeah. Tupac. Like, my mother likes Eminem and Snoop Dogg. And my mom is white as fuck. Did you know Snoop Dogg has finished his main quest and is just... Completing side He's just quests. doing whatever the hell he wants. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a 20th time character. character. He streams on Twitch off his under no quest. category, yeah. never Snoop... changes the fucking title. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg is, is a 20th, a 20th level, level Yeah, He's a 20th level bard. Uh, just, he finished the main story. He's just doing side quests now. One thing I also do want to, I did remember, there's a movie called Day Shift. He uh, and Snoop Dogg and Jamie Foxx are in it. I need to watch this. I think he also just like did his own show at one point. Yes, he you know did. Snoop Dogg is in the fucking uh, in the in the scary movie franchise. He is. He is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do yeah, he gets high movie. with Ghostface. Yeah, he gets high with Ghostface. Was that? Again, was that? again, I reiterate. I think we all reiterate. Snoop Dogg has just completed a life and is just doing a victory lap. Yes, <laughs> he is. So yeah. Uh, He's is also that... best friends with Martha Stewart. Yes. That's why I said they get high One of them together. Has literally. convicted for a crime, and it's not him. <laughs> the best part. No, the best. The best part is literally. Have you seen the one where like Martha Stewart tells you how to survive jail? Yeah. What? Again, I I, I love that. It's like they they are best friends, and it's the old white woman who has been to prison. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She literally says in a video, she's like, Snoop Dogg, let me, or no, she goes, she's like, Snoop Dogg, did I ever tell you how I survived prison? He goes, no, how did you? And she goes, well, it's very simple. You see, I took myself this handy dandy little comb that I got from my daughter. I sharpened it into a sharp point, And then I took it and I stabbed the oh, biggest bitch shoot. I could find out of the yard. So that way I too would become the biggest bitch and nobody would mess with me. And then she said this all of this good natured, quiet, motherly, mother Stuart act, and I'm just sitting here dying because I'm like, oh my god. Like all of that with just that, that same usual, like very motherly accent or whatever, or just like the way, way of speaking. Tone. Yeah, tone, there you go. And then just what she's saying is fucking horrifying. She's talking about how she made a shiv out of a comb. 
I also absolutely love that Snoop Dogg has the definition of transferable job skills, which is that he's really good at rolling sushi because he uh, took his skill from rolling joints and moved it to sushi, and it turns out it applied perfectly. <laughs> I need he has actually said that. Some burritos. Oh my god, he's gonna make the perfect wrapped burrito. Perfect you know that for a fact. Burritos uh, and tacos and stop, I'm, You're making me hungry. I'm, I'm eating at the moment. Like, uh, at work, I'm uh, hungrier. One of the cooks, Guillermo, he made this delicious taco. It's got uh, some roast beef and chicken in there with um, with uh, yellow and red bell peppers. And oh this God. is the first time I've actually been able to enjoy something mixed in with both avocado and uh, sour cream. It How is did? a shame that the only thing I liked that out of the listed ingredients was the meat. <laughs> Same here. So I don't like vegetable. I don't like avocado. I don't especially. like. I don't like bell peppers. I can tolerate avocado. I hate sour cream with a passion. I I, I all, loved. This I am stocking. so glad you also hate sour cream with a passion, which is funny, because it and mayonnaise I hate with a passion, and they are both in things I like. I don't hate my mayo. favorite dressing, ranch. Ranch is main ingredient mayo. <laughs> I don't hate mayo. I just it needs to be in something to be I, good. I I hate mayo. Tuna? Do you like tuna or no? God, I. What part of seafood don't you understand? <laughs> Crab can I have. Remember? Frick, I forgot. <laughs> I'm not allergic. I just won't eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or he, he, he doesn't like seafood. My bad. Yeah, he's or like it's... Samara. He's like Brent. Ah. Uh... I I haven't I told all of you why I can't have seafood. Yes, you have. Brent also has, uh, he doesn't have the specific thing that happened to you. It's just he has the same thing where he can smell it. And it's so strong. Just smelling it makes him gag? Yeah. There was at one point, uh, some of, uh, people Seafood, at it, his emo work, it, inv it, it evokes a mental trauma. Uh, well, the good news within, is... With him, uh, he was at work at one point, and, uh, a couple of co-workers wanted to make some fish... And Brent said, no, please don't, at least don't cook it. I don't want to smell it. And they go, come on, it doesn't have a smell. And he says, yes, it does. I can smell it. And it does so, have a smell. And so they... Oh, uh, he don't bite. Yes, he do. <laughs> so they, they decided to, uh, to nuke it anyway. Bro, raw fish has, raw seafood has a smell. Cooking seafood has an even more intense smell. And if not properly ventilated... Cooked fish leaves a smell that lingers for a long ass time and in the entire building. Apparently, they couldn't smell it, and he was able to smell it from pretty much the entire building away. Jesus. And he nearly gagged right there. Okay, if this tells you anything, when I was still in Florida, my grandparents, if they would make, they would cook seafood, I wouldn't be able to smell it right away because I keep the door closed. But the second I would open the door to go to the bathroom or something. I was immediately hit by the smell of seafood, even though the kitchen is on the other side of the house. It seems Brent has the smell thing worse than you, then. <clears throat> there you go. But you also have experience to make you hate it. It's, it's, also, it's also the factor of, I've had to get used to it because Bill literally fucking basically chokeslammed it down my throat. And... My room typically has different smells that mask out the smell of anything else if the door is closed. Because, and I'm not saying, like, oh, sweaty me smell or, like, laundry smell. I'm saying, like, a PC technically generates its own smell given enough time due to the heat buildup and, and like, you know, dust. Brent was in a hotel that he worked oh, at. Oh, God, I am so sorry for him. That he worked at, yeah. and he still smelled it from across the building on a separate floor. Like I said, that shit permeates. Yeah, and it just nobody needs else smelled it. to do so. Nobody else smelled it. <laughs> God damn. Help so, Brent, I feel for him and his I will. That is a I will. very intense sense of smell. Yes. I mean, if this tells you anything, I have notoriously. Either have to avoid the seafood section at a he, at a store. He's a super taster. Or have to stop basically. breathing when I go by it. 
He's a super taster. His sense of taste is so strong, he can smell and taste things at the exact same time. From the uh, that is actually because the senses in your nose are the same as the ones in your mouth. Yep, and he. It is he, just a matter of one is dry and one is wet. And he is, ex- you know, he's. I don't know how to explain it. He explains it better than I do. But yeah. Well, basically, that was a small if, if rant I had on to guess, seafood. Yeah, if I had to guess, um, his main sense is his smell slash taste, whereas mine is my hearing. It's his taste. My it hearing is... is my highest sense, and his taste slash smell is probably his. His taste. He's a super taster. It could be something that having to do with, like, the... Like it was mentioned before, they they are very similar senses, but smell and taste. And it could be something having to do with the brain kind of crossing those senses. Well, no, okay. no, I'm saying me... specifically... Hobby, no, they are literally the same. No, I know, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. If you can't smell, you literally won't taste food. No, yeah, I know. That's, that's part of the... And first, trust the... me, but I have vomited through my nose. They are taste buds in your nose. Yeah, I know. Guys. Something today? Thank you for that. Yes, I do believe it's a trippy one, it's receptors. Super let's tasters let are the people who literally tap food on their tongue to see if they can taste poison. Yeah, that is I know. how sensitive their t- t- taste buds. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that he's one that of those. Creep. He's one of those. That's that's Your what I'm trying to say. But anyway, that was a little rant on seafood and my friend Brent. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight on the Podwash Powercast. That, was a shit show. that ending was a shit show, yeah. We're and always a shit show. We are always a shit that's show. That's part of every the time. Point. No, it's like, we power wash ourselves clean. Same so shit show everyone, channel. Start giving off your intro your outros. Be big, loud, and bombastic. I'm going to be singing in the background. <clears throat> well, you thank you, like everybody, rat, for you know, uh, for tuning in. Uh, I don't fuck with that. Oh, God. It's a rap. Thank you, everybody, rat. for tuning in. Uh, I hope you all had a great time. Like if all goes rat, well, rat, I'll be rat, streaming rat, as well. And it's I'll be joining this guy every, every, every now and then as well. Trap, no. You all take uh, care, stay trap, safe, trap, and I will trap, see you trap, star side. Trap, trap, metal, uh. Trent's Trent, Trent, he Trent, fabulous, Trent, Trent, he's scaly, uh, he trap, is. Trap, 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 metal, uh. Trap, 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 metal, uh. <laughs> trap, 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 metal, uh. I've been on the trap. <laughs> Make it stop, please. Has the shit show concluded? Uh, no comments? It is concluding yeah. now. Thank you, everybody, and... See you, star side. See you, star side. I said it first. Uh, no, I did. <laughs> you were paying attention because you were rapping. No, no, no. I said it first. I totally no, I said, it said it first. No, 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 no. E fabulous. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fine, I'll be different, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. And just like that, we got. Yeah.